It's a myth that older people are more likely to be depressed and anxious than younger people. Actually, the reverse is true, and it is true all over the world. It is not simply a cohort effect. This has been shown in longitudinal research. If you saw an older patient presenting with memory impairment, would you consider depression or anxiety? Well, in older people, depression and anxiety present differently than when they occur earlier in life. And in fact, memory impairment is a key presentation in later life for both depression and anxiety. Unfortunately, this makes it more likely that older adults will be misdiagnosed with dementia when they're actually suffering from anxiety or depression. For example, a patient with depression in their later years may talk about feeling less able to enjoy their favorite activities or talk about decreased appetite and weight loss, but they will usually emphasize difficulties in remembering common things such as items at the grocery store or a good friend's telephone number. Key risk factors for depression include disability, newly diagnosed medical illness, poor health status, poor self-perceived health, prior depression, and bereavement. Protective factors include greater perceived social support, regular physical exercise, and higher socioeconomic status. Older adults are less likely to get a thorough diagnostic workup and are less likely to be offered the widest range of treatment options compared to younger adults. This is true for both physical and mental illness. This is really bad. Currently, we have good interventions for depression in later life, either psychotherapy, pharmacological treatments, or a combination of the two, which are effective in about 80% of cases. But there are currently no treatments which can slow or reverse dementia. You should be aware that some studies have found that as high as 20% of cases of dementia at autopsy turn out to have been likely misdiagnosed and are more likely cases of depression. So a good diagnostic workup is most important. Anxiety is actually more common later in life when compared to the incidence of depression in later life. Many risk factors are the same for both anxiety and depression. Key risk factors for anxiety include poor self-rated general health status, physical or sexual abuse in childhood, and being a current smoker. Protective factors include greater perceived social support, regular physical exercise, and higher level of education. Both socioeconomic status and education are really reflective of economic resources. And research shows greater resources confer greater protection against both depression and anxiety at all ages. Also, almost anything that you could do to support a healthy lifestyle in your younger years will be protective against mental and physical illness in later life.